Hello everyone. Welcome to Aishas IS Institute. In this video, we are going to discuss UPSC May 2019 GS Paper 1 question. The paper was conducted today on 21st September 2019. And this is one particular question from social, you know, uh, social issues. And this is question number 10 in the paper. There are 20 questions in the paper. So this is 150 marks question. This is a 10 mark question. First 10 questions are for 10 marks. Next 10 questions are for 15 marks. They are for 250 words. So this is 150 word question. The question is, what are the challenges to our cultural practices in the name of secularism? So I have picked up points. There are five points on which you can elaborate. They are elaborated to actually. So these are the five points. So first you should understand what is being spoken of is challenges to our cultural practices in the name of secularism. So first of all, when you get a question in front of you, you have to think on the key words in the question and what comes to your mind, you can just note it down. And then on each of the points, you can elaborate and write your answer. So this is regarding cultural practices. Another term important here is secularism. So when you think of secularism, you have religion in mind. So, you know, cultural religious practices is on what lines you have to think. So first point which I have mentioned is regarding cultural religious rituals. So it's written following cultural religious rituals becomes challenging as they may be considered anti-secular. So you can start off the question about, uh, you know, that cultural practices have uh, peculiar challenges in the name of secularism. The first one you can write it down in five paragraphs as such if you don't want to write in points. The first one being that following cultural religious rituals becomes challenging because they may be considered anti-secular. So somebody who is you know rigorously following cultural rituals or religion they are considered anti-secular. But then it is further written in the answer that it is a culture which makes India stand out in the world because foreigners are attracted to our cultural practices, yoga being the most prominent example. So this is one point. Second challenge which I have mentioned uh, you know, is adorning traditional wear or traditional marks. They may be considered signifying an anti-secular stance like somebody putting a tikka or a turban or a cultural headwear etc. So this is considered as you know anti-secular. But then it is further mentioned that this requires a change in perception along with acceptance and tolerance in the society. Third point which I have mentioned is secular education undermines religious and cultural education. So this is also a fact that education today is secular education and in older times there were religious cultural education provided to young people. So secular education of course it is written is essential in today's modern world from career perspective in general. But then there is an opportunity here too because cultural education also has to be promoted through modern means. So it's written that this also creates an opportunity to build a career in promoting cultural education through modern means. So that is there. Fourth point is English is considered a modern secular language. So this undermines our ancient Indian languages like Sanskrit and cultural texts are in these languages. So that's what uh, I have written. So th there are many cultural texts. However, then further the point is that there are many cultural texts have been translated into English language. So though there is a challenge, in some ways we are overcoming those challenges too is what I have kept, tried to mention to keep a balance in the answer too. Then fifth point is secular intercultural marriages. So the term interreligious will become controversial though it is also not mentioned religious practices. So I have also used the word cultural. So I say secular intercultural marriages are also a challenge to our cultural practices. And further I negate it saying that however they can enrich our culture through intermingling of communities as has historically be, been seen. So over a period of time with intermingling of communities our culture has been enriched. So that's what I have written to balance that. So these are the five points. We can quickly take a recap of that too. First point is how cultural religious rituals following them can become challenging in secularism. You know, it may be considered an anti-secular in which I have given an example of yoga. How that, that ritual has actually been promoted worldwide. Then second is about traditional wear and traditional marks that you know, perception that such a person is anti-secular or as such like a tikka or a turban or headwear as such. Third point I have mentioned is regarding secular education. Fourth point is regarding English as a modern secular language in which I have shown how Indian language like Sanskrit are undermined but then there are uh, overcoming those challenges has also happened. And finally it is regarding secular intercultural marriages. So these are the five points. Hope you benefit from this. Thank you.